so in animals, but then also in food, the relations of if you find another thing that's equal to another thing, it's just as though you found a proof in mathematics. Uh, skinning a potato that's a sweet potato, it's kind of like a pineapple if it has a whole bunch of beady eyes in it. If you can have a flip book being an origami, but as footnotes, like of anything you do, but footnotes as accurate as they can be or is basically just flashcards. And so flashcards are boring. They need to get an update. And so the more accurate a footnote to a flashcard is, is the difference of a book made as a sculpture. Instead of a picture book, the words could be just as great. In Jewish tradition, the words are also symbols. And so finding the median of that would be beneficial where it wouldn't be boring. It's just the difference as artificial and um, state of the art. I sure want to make flashcards into a child's book and I want to make sculptures that are um, accurate as having stuff on them and finer skills. Like when you look really closely at something like my coat and then from a distance, it looks like a design. I don't have like angles of a sculpture mimic that. And so a flip book could be like origami and have the footnotes as well. In it. And that's the difference between on defense or offense. You want to be on the offense, not the receiving end. Given that we're alive, that we have the ability to see how going out from being alive isn't I mean, is inevitable, but the trace marks are inclusive of, inclusive of genes uh, being read poorly, and that's what would not be registering between QR codes and barcodes. And what's the difference between an artifact and just a regular fact? When elements can be induced, I think that it gives gravity to what a proof is and i understand the more that you focus into an element it can change into a different thing so i know that you would probably need a more stable structure other than just the table considering its legs we've got monoliths that could be counted in interplays for outwards appearances uh the amount of monoliths i think are going to be more in line with something as barcodes are. And that's why I know that there's like a whole geometry between how important QR codes are, because you can have these interplays where you put stuff in the middle and it still registers. Whereas with barcodes, it's as though when they're away and closer, there's a whole line of it registering or not. And so that interplay is interesting because you can get the tips of them to be cut off and made different. And that is uh, how a monolith could interact in different amounts of them being at different positions and having it register as stuff inside the element table. The genes, the genes of anyone are counterparts as how bad they fail. If you have like black lung at a old age, it would be how your genes were processed during the meantime the different shapes that a pug's mouth makes is um, equal to like the motions of a praying mantis. So in animals, but then also in food, the relations of if you find another thing that's equal to another thing, it's just as though you found a proof in mathematics. Uh, skinning a potato that's a sweet potato it's kind of like a pineapple if it has a whole bunch of beady eyes in it if you can have a flip book being an origami but as footnotes like of anything you do but footnotes as accurate as they can be or is basically just flashcards and so flashcards are boring they need to get an update and so the more accurate a footnote to a flashcard is, is the difference of a book 
made as a sculpture. Instead of a picture book, the words could be just as great. In Jewish tradition, the words are also symbols. And so finding the median of that would be beneficial where it wouldn't be boring. It's just a difference as artificial and um, state of the art. Sure wanted to make flashcards.